Hello guys, welcome to Edu Mobile Elite program. Today we are going to make our first program, a uh, simple hello world. Though it's a very simple program, but still it will give us a basic knowledge of how uh, to program for iPhone and how various uh, tools are used in order to create the application. So we'll start by creating our uh, double clicking our Xcode, starting the Xcode. So we have our Xcode open now. Let's create a new project. Okay, we will be creating a view based application. Now, just at this point of a time, consider a view to be something that's visible uh, on the iPhone screen. So currently it's just a simple single view based application because they will not have multiple views. It's just a simple hello world. So let's name it hello world and let's name it hello. Oops. Let's name it hello. Okay, so you can see uh, the hello project coming here and the Xcode is actually showing us uh, the project. Now, major things that we must notice is that there are few classes that has been automatically created. There is a delegate class uh, with uh, .h and .m files. Uh, these are objective c files similarly we have a view controller with dot h and dot m files we'll talk about uh, in detail in the actual course here for the time being let's run it and see how it actually looks when we haven't done anything it's what is a plain vanilla code uh, being provided to us by directly by the xcode so <coughs> if you look this is called the iphone simulator and iPhone simulator will actually simulate your program and show it to you how it should actually look on the on the actual device though it's not an exact map but still it will help you a lot while coding your uh, actual applications so this is completely a gray background and nothing you can't see anything so let's do something about it and make our application so before we do that we must understand that the user interface of iPhone can be created using something called as a interface builder now in the resource folder we have uh, some zip files which are actually the nibs a nib file is something which is storing the interface details for an program so our program is hello so let's open its view controller now this is something that's visible to you you saw the gray background there so this is the gray background here we have is the first file owner and we have a view now this file owner is actually the owner of this view so uh, the project as such you can understand is actually the file owner and it is displaying the view now you can see the interface builder over here here we have something called as a library and an inspector let's start the inspector first now in an inspector let's choose this view you can see the background here is gray and there are certain changes that you can do to your status bar like you can change it color to say black if you want if you can change it to say a translucent black if you want so uh, this is uh, your status bar and this is your actual view here you can change and the color to say green so we have changed the color of the view if you want to see the connections how the file owner and the view is related you can see the file owner is actually connected to the view uh, this is the primary uh, way to um, way how a file owner uh, is always having uh, is actually showing the views in fact when you make uh, a, a bit more complex program there will be different views that are linked to the same file owner so uh, this is we move on to something uh, other uh, uh, interesting thing is the library library contains the uh, already created um, UI elements for you like a navigation controller view controller it will be used later in the later sections today what we will do is we will just uh, drag a 
round drag button let's expand it let's call it hello world save it and our nib file is ready so if you open the nib file you can see this is the nib file this is the file which will actually store the UI data for this program so now we are ready let's uh, execute the program and here it will be your hello world so you see how simple it is to create a hello world program using the tools that have been provided to us uh, I hope you will enjoy uh, our other sessions as well thank you